Thanks for joining me on this edition of Amy Lee Online. We're going to talk about how to make a magazine with Issue. Okay, so Issue is a great online magazine website that you can use for free. It's issuu.com and all you need to do is join up. You can join with your Facebook account. It's simple, it's easy, it's really great and all you need to do um, is upload your pages to the magazine. So you can make your own magazines and you can use them for your price list, you can use them for practically anything you need to. Um, it's great for newsletters uh, to embed in your MailChimp or on your uh, emails that you send out to your clients. It's a great way to show examples of your work and it's such a beautiful presentation. It really gives you a, an edge over your competition to use a magazine style. Um, newsletter or online publication. So let's talk about how you make your pages. Okay, so you want to make a double spread page. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, obviously, if you're going to make your cover, you need to do a single page, but starting off with the double page spread is really easy. So the sizes that you'll need, you might want to write this down for the double page, is 3300 pixels or 3300 pixels wide and 2550 uh, pixels high. If you're doing it in inches, that would be 11 inches wide and 8.5 inches in height. And if you're using centimeters, it's 27.94 centimeters wide and 21.59 centimeters high. Now your single page is obviously going to be half of that. So you would use the same height in pixels, 2550, or um, and your width would be shorter, obviously it would be broken in half, so it would be 1650 pixels wide, wide um, 13.9 centimeters wide and 21.59 centimeters high, and in inches it would be 5.5 inches wide and 8.5 inches high. So all you need to do is just create your page, put your pictures on there, your text, all the sorts of things that you want to use it for. Um, there's lots of templates that you can purchase as well. From different websites and I'll put the links down below for you for those. So once you've made your double page spread you'll need to cut it in half. Um, I've lined mine so I know exactly how to do it without guesswork. Um, so I just cut it in half so I just go to the line here and I'll cut it there and then I will save that as a JPEG um, and you need to number it one through to whatever end that ends up being, so one to seven if it's seven pages or whatever. Um, the reason for that is because when you upload it, you will need to upload that in order. So uh, it comes out as a perfectly ordered magazine. So you want to save that as a, as a JPEG, okay, which I've already done so. So um, then once, you, once you've done that to all of your pages, then what you want to do is you want to go into your folder. So it's easy, I have mine in a, an external hard drive, but if you'd like to probably save it to your desktop, that would be easy for you. Then once you've got it open in your folder, wherever you've stored it, then we open it up in our preview. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so once you've opened up your documents in your page viewer, um, then what we want to do is we want to click all of these, make sure they're all in order, and we want to we want to go up to File, and we want to go to Print. Once you've highlighted them all, of course, so highlight them all. Make sure you've got as many pages in here where it says one of five, you might have one of seven. So just make sure you've got all your pages there. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to click on this box down here that says PDF and you want to go and save this as a PDF. Okay. 
So you want to label it, whatever it's going, the magazine will be called. Um, I'm going to save this to pictures to make it easy. Um, so you can put in your description and your keywords and things like that and tag it um, however you need to. And then just click save. Okay, so once you've saved it as a PDF in your pictures folder or on your desktop, what you want to do is you want to go to the website. Now you can log in very easily under your Facebook account, your Twitter account, um, or you can sign up singularly without using that at all. And then you just need to go to upload. Select a file to get started. Go to your pictures menu here. Mine is saved as a PDF and the only thing that will show up is PDFs that you can upload. You cannot upload JPEGs. So I'm going to click on my magazine, choose that and it will start to load and we just have to wait a few minutes. It shouldn't take very long. Okay, so that has fully uploaded. Once it's fully uploaded, it will come up with a page asking you to fill in your description. So it's good to put in here what the magazine is about, um, type a little description um, about what you've done with the magazine and who's in the magazine. You might want to put your website, all that sort of thing, details in there. So you'll have a description box, the label of the magazine, the date. Um, you can tick if this is a preview or if the readers can download this and then all you need to do is click, you can either publish it now or you can publish it later and you can set a date by clicking uh, on this calendar and you can have it as an unlisted. Um, I'm going to publish it now and I've already, just as an example, um, to show you. It does have a direct link here that you can copy and you can copy that link and you can open your publication here. You can share it on Facebook, you can share it on all those places that it, it listed there, Google+, Plus, all that sort of thing. Um, the magazine will come up. So as the magazine comes up, it looks like this. And then all you, need, you can actually look at it via full screen. And the pages turn beautifully and there you have it you've got an online magazine talking about your latest product your latest price list or even the latest shoot that you've done you can wow your clients with a with the with the magazine styled newsletter about them everybody loves to read about themselves and look at pictures of them of their families and themselves and things like that so this is the perfect way to do that I highly recommend getting online and using magazine styled newsletters and things for your publications and for your website, for your email outs, all of those sorts of things. It really gives you a, a, a really professional look and an edge over the competition that you might not normally have. So thank you so much for joining us today and remember to like, share and subscribe as always and remember do what you love and love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life. Bye for now.